Uh, this is Jacob Schmidt and I'm going to make a video today uh, mostly talking about hunting the wind um, because that is by far if you're hunting whitetail deer or any big game deer that can smell um, that is by far best bet and really your your best scent proofing that you can do um, it's just all there is to it you can use the the shampoos the soaps the sprays the any other methods you can but they just bottom line they just don't get away rid of all your scent and yeah we've all seen I've seen people I've heard people are walking down wind everybody's heard that so it does happen um, but in general if deer comes down wind over they're just gonna smell you so I've, I've scouted this area out here and as you see the yellow lines um, these yellow the yellow lines are the deer trails that the deer walking. And in this particular case, these are heavy travels. They're, they're walking both directions on these trails, so they could be coming from either direction. Now, there's almost no stand that you can set up that's 100% the wind's always going to be perfect for. It's not possible. This station here, south wind, southeast wind would be awesome for this south stand. I put an N, and then the, the red N, the red E, the red S, and that's the directions. Um, that gives you an idea of which way the picture's laid out. So the top of the picture is north, bottom the picture is south. Um, so the one, the the green dot here with the S by it, that is the a south for hunting with south wind. And uh, if the wind, I'm going to put a blue here. The wind's coming out of the south. We're going to just draw an arrow. If the wind's coming out of the south, say if, if it's coming due south, really uh, good. Um, because it carries our scent up in this area, up in here. Now, you know, deer could be there at some point because there's other deer trails. But the deer that are walking on these yellow trails would not smell us if it even do south wind because our scent's going up in this area here where I made the little scribbling blue. Um, now, the north stand, of course, um, if the wind's coming out of the north... If it's coming due north, it's going to carry, of course, the cow. It's going to carry our scent down in here if it's due north. The only place then they would intersect, the deer could intersect, would be here, which would not be good. We're going to put that in a red X. Um, that would not be good for the deer to walk there. Um, but, like I said, it can't be perfect. And then, you know, as a south wind, if it was a southwest wind, our scent would be coming for the south stand, would be taking our scent back in here, which would put us a red X here where the deer could smell us. And you can do this. This is Google Earth where I pulled up this picture at. So you can actually do this yourself um, and look at, see which directions wouldn't be good and would be good for your scent. But anyways, there's north stand here. If the wind's at the north, because our primary spot where our deer are cross, our, our primary location for shots on the deer are in this area right here. That I'm, This area right in here. In between these two blinds, that's where most of the deer trails lead. It gets this, this yellow line gets really heavy um, right through here where more and more deer, all these trails are coming together where I, Right in there where I drew the, maybe lagging just a, f a few seconds, but I just drew a black line on it. Um, that's where the heaviest part of the deer trail is. So if I'm hunting that with the south and the north wind, it's going to be uh, great, um, as you see that there. But that's basically uh, you know hunting the wind, and I'm putting a little project together that's going to go way more into detail on this. Um, so look forward to that. But this is Jacob Schmidt. And uh, if you like this video, uh, leave me a comment. If you have any suggestions or anything, um, I always anything, any ideas that you have or any strategies that you use, uh, leave a comment at the bottom. Let me uh, know. Um, I would, it would be appreciated because, you know, I get out there and I hunt, you know, hard and, and anything helps. And I actually bow hunt um, is all I do. So it definitely helps me. Uh, my wife gun hunts and I, I let her, but I just like to hunt with my bow. 
I like being up and close and personal with these the white-tailed deer. Leave comments. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, I love to hunt too, and I like to talk about it, and I like to know what you guys think. And, uh, you know, leave some opinions, you know. And uh, I would appreciate it, and I uh, look forward to other videos and things I put up.